Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be going over episode two of season four of The Boys. Uh, we're going to talk about what I like, what happened, and all that good stuff. We're going to get deep into it. Uh, not the deep, just deep into it. Uh, so I'm going to go spoilers ahead. So, you know, make sure that uh, if you haven't uh, watched the show, make sure to go watch it and come back uh, in this episode after the events of the first episode, the boys continue to figure out uh, a couple of things, how they can get Victoria Newman, um, I guess, removed from the board, I'll say, uh, because as of now, she's on her way to becoming the president of the United States. Uh, and of course, Homelander, all the situation stuff going on with Ryan. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty messy beginning of the season. And I think that's the way we like it. Uh, so in this episode, we begin with a really fun cameo. Will Ferrell shows up uh, as he's playing the coach who is the white savior in the A-Train uh, biopic. Uh, so A-Train, we see the return of uh, our favorite director, director of the Dawn of the Seven, uh, back here making this film. What what great range this director has, right, uh, to do a film like this. Uh, I love how... It was just a really fun sequence. I mean, obviously, Will Ferrell brings a lot of the funny. Uh, but, you know, putting that... A-Train, a obviously, is not on board with the way they're trying to write his character because it's not authentic to who he is. Uh, we're going to, once again, see Noir, who seems to be... I, I don't think they've revealed who's under the suit, but it seems like is somebody who was probably an actor or on the acting track at Godolkin University, uh, as we saw in Gen V. So... Uh, both Annie and Huey are in their respective hospitals. Huey's taking care of his dad. <clears throat> Annie's taking care of her, her friend that was uh, beaten up at the demonstration after the verdict from Homelander. Uh, Butcher finally does come clean to the team about his brain and like everything going on, but he ends up getting kicked out of the boys. Uh, I think they finally had it with him and his lies and deceptions. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that plays out for Butcher. Uh, also, Sage or Sister Sage uh, starts kind of challenging the status quo of uh, Vaught. She's she has their own machinations, I think. And although she's playing nice with Homelander, or as nice as you can play with Homelander for now, uh, it's a very interesting character. We haven't had a character that is all all brains, right? Um, that's so manipulative. So, and then she begins by manipulating the deep. Like she starts telling him, like you are. A better like Ashley always yells at him, obviously, because uh, the deepest kind of a, a fuck up. Uh, so you know, she just puts the uh, sage puts this idea in the deep's head like, you are the superior being, they shouldn't treat you like garbage. And um, we then go see Butcher and the boys, even though he's kind of kicked out, he still kind of meets them there and ambushes them, so he joins the party. Uh, so we have. Frenchie, Kimiko, Mother's Milk, and Butcher crashing. Truth Con, uh, what a convention uh, <laughs> where you see all the conspiracies, all uh, the conspiracy theories or theorists uh, go and hang out and meet together. Uh, Sage is also there. Well, that was the reason that they went to this convention. Uh, she's scouting Firecracker. I think they're looking for mem more members of the Seven. Um, so we're finally at a point where the Seven is rebuilding, right? Uh, Mother's Milk and Butcher uh, continue to uh, get into it. Like they are constantly on each other's toes and faces. Obviously, Butcher, Butcher is such an ass. Um, but yeah, uh, A Train helps uh, Starlight uh, prove that those guys were innocent, that the ones that were, had been accused in the first issue, um, that, you know, they planted those, those dead bodies. And of course, uh, it's really interesting because A Train, I feel like he's finally getting a cool arc of like maybe this is where we can see some redemption, right? The first opening scene of this show was A Train running over Huey's girlfriend. So, like, if anybody has some redemption to do, it is A Train. Uh, Ryan also practices his first save. We see that a lot of the saves that are publicly done are uh, they're pretty much set up by Vought, right? So Ryan goes for his first save, but then Homelander shows up and kind of ruins what they had been practicing. And then Ryan accidentally kills Koi, who was the stunt guy and also the playing the 
the bad guy that was going to get, you know, arrested there by, by Ryan. So there's still, we see that there's kind of like some jealousy from Homelander to Ryan. Uh, but I don't know. It's kind of a, it's such a messed up relationship. Um, we also see that Sage set up a trap for the boys. Uh, and, and, and a brawl finally spills out into, I don't know if it's a bar mitzvah or a bat, bat, bat mitzvah. I think it's a bar mitzvah uh, or a bat mitzvah. Not exactly sure. Uh, but yeah, they go into this party, which is really interesting. Before that, we had seen this other hero, or I guess this other soup called Splinter, with one of the most messed up moments. I can't even, I don't even, I can't even describe it here on youtube because it'll probably get censored uh -huh. so just you just have to watch the episode that might be the most one of the most messed up things we've seen this season already in episode two uh but yeah uh the fight it, it goes you know spills into the party the which is really funny the party was themed like uh the marvelous miss Maisel. so we have some uh, synergy there with prime uh prime shows uh and you know sage gets away uh, ultimately, the boys kind of step up and, and kill Splinter, uh, but also Firecracker is able to get away. So I think everything went pretty much according to Sage's plan from what we can see. Um, and then we see uh, we have some seeds planted for things that are happening with Annie, uh, with Kimiko, with Frenchie and Huey, right? They're all kind of dealing with their own little side stories on top of the main thing that's happening. Uh, so I think this is going to be interesting to follow, follow along. And uh, I'm really enjoying this season of The Boys. It's been continuing to be just like everything that I want from this show. It keeps pushing it. It's like they they don't really care. They'll push the envelope as far as they can. So uh, and of course, great performances. That's what really if, if this show wasn't as well made, all the other stuff like I don't think we would give the show as much leeway. Uh, to get away with some of the stuff that it does get away with. So uh, really fun stuff. Uh, if you've been watching The Boys, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Uh, we'll have a review for episode three coming up soon in the channel. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.